Love Center News, keeping you informed on what's happening this week in your ministry. Thank you for coming to the Love Center. It is our prayer that today's worship experience will be precise, real, and clear. Welcome home. Be a part of the Love Center's commitment to prayer on Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m. During this time, we seek God concerning the blessing of our families, our ministry, the nation, and the world. Strengthen your relationship with the Word of God through Bible study at the Love Center on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. at Love Center Atlanta, Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. at Love Center South, and again on Saturdays at 10 a.m. at Love Center Atlanta. The Love Center Cafe is the place to get great food and experience good fellowship here at the Love Center. It is open and available on Sundays after the 745 worship celebration. Come, enjoy the food, and bless the ministry. Tune in on Sundays at 6 p.m. for the Shake the Nations broadcast with Pastor Byron L. Broussard on Shabak Radio. You can download the Shabak Radio app from the Google Play or App Store via iTunes. Thank you for supporting Pastor Byron Broussard and Love Life Ministries. Please do not eat food or bring drinks into the sanctuary, and all children from six weeks to four years must go to the nursery during worship. Be an active part of the worship, work, and witness of the Love Center. You can also share our ministry through social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as we seek to take this love to the whole world. This has been Love Center News, keeping you informed. Frederick Douglass understood it clearly, as it was illegal in this country to teach a slave to read or write. Very few blacks received any education at all until public education was established during the Reconstruction period. However, these black schools were usually at the mercy of the white-controlled state government for funding. Because of prejudice and racism, black schools received far less financial support than white schools. Black schools had fewer books, rundown buildings, and teachers who were paid far less than the average teaching salary. In the midst of these challenges, decisions and sacrifices were made to prepare ourselves for a better future through education. W.E.B. Du Bois believed that industrial education was not a true promotion from slavery. Du Bois believed blacks should come together under his influential essay called The Talented Ten. The Talented Ten described the likelihood of one in ten college-educated black men becoming leaders of their race. W.E.B. Du Bois believed this would help guide other African Americans into learning and thinking in order to create a new social mind that will contradict the racist, oppressive system. This is my class, 2019.
and my family is making a grant to eliminate their student loans. I know my class will make sure they pay this forward. And let's make sure every class has the same opportunity going forward. Because we are enough to take care of our own community. Memorial Day is about honoring the fallen, the heroes of America who have given the ultimate sacrifice in our defense and in defense of freedom. Freedom is not free. People sacrifice their lives for the freedoms that we call free here in America. So to remember those is to honor those. than this than to lay one's life down for his friends. Remember and honor our fallen with overwhelming aloha, for they are our heroes. Take time to understand what each of these plaques represent. Their lives, their families, the stories, the campaigns they fought in, Iwo Jima, Tinian, Guam, Midway, Afghanistan, Iraq. There are so many different campaigns, so many battles have been fought in defense of us. 